Yo guys, what is going on today? It is Mark here. Welcome back to another episode of Road to MGB or Road to Nuke. Guys, you have no idea how bad I joke in this gameplay. I don't even know if I should tell you what I did or didn't do. Yeah, we're going to probably end up telling you anyway. Uh, I go on two separate kill streaks. All gun. I mean, you can look at my kill streaks here. And from last video, I said that I was going to try and switch things up. I did. Things started working out a little better for myself. Uh, I end up going on a 16 gun streak. Die. Come back and go on a 21. I end the match 37 and 1. And I choked. So hard. And you'll see why I die in a minute. I was kind of waiting for some things, but it happens. And it, it, it got me good. Got me in my feels. And it kind of sucked, though, because this was my first game on, and I was really not expecting it to happen. But hey, it was probably one of the. It was probably the best match I've had uh, since the game's been out. And that is kind of sad because uh, I have played so much and it has taken me this long to get a good lobby. Like, that is just outrageous and it blows my mind. But that is not what we're going to talk about today because today I wanted to have kind of like an open discussion about the CDL. And what happens if it dies or what can be different or how I think the CDL should look because right now it feels so weird i mean the last couple of years there's been branding change after branding change and name changes and like nothing is consistent with the cdl and it's hurting itself by doing that and challengers this year only having two LAN events and the pros uh going from five to four majors and it's just all over the place but I want to know and like as I think out loud here like how does the CDL for one stay alive I mean there's been rumors that it is going to this is potentially the last year do I think that's the case I don't know Call of Duty so big but the CDL is just so weird compared to other like games and uh esport wise like it's so different like it's its own juggernaut in itself but in like the perfect world i would love to see the cdl ran like the nba and i believe i could be wrong here but i do believe that at one point um they wanted to try it like that and run run it more like a official like the NBA scheduling and like NFL type deal I think it would be really sweet if they were able to pull that off but I want to see like regular matches a week where one team it's kind of like baseball the way I look at it if one team like say phase and optic are playing this week then they will play like two to four matches throughout the week or something like that like they'll play three games on like, on monday and then tuesday they come in and play a couple matches and then you know take your break on wednesday come back thursday and friday and play and they scrim and i'm not talking about like meeting in person and stuff too but it would be so cool if they just like re like the whole way that they did things and if they were like decorating with a stream room and like they wouldn't even have to go to event places because right now if money is the issue, I imagine that is probably part of it. Venues are probably expensive as shit. So that could be a way to cut back costs. They would just have to make it vivid enough and lively enough for us as viewers to enjoy watching what we're seeing. And I don't know how the casting would work. And that might be another issue that they run into if they were able to do something like that. But... Um, along with that, and if they did this, the season would have to run, I think like starting in December, 
is a good time frame. I think that's about where they do start December or January, right in that area. It gives them time to get familiar with the game, practice, all that stuff. And I also think that they end at a good time period. Now, I would love to see more past that, and I'll get into that in a second. I think that July, like 1st of August, middle of July, in that time, probably about when school starts is a good time to end it. Give the pros a break, because that is like nine months for them to be playing and practicing like eight, ten hour days, or however long that they end up doing. And that is not healthy for them to go like year round. Now us as fans, we want more content. And I remember, I think it was back in like when Warzone 1 was out, they did like streamers and pros, uh, they did like a Warzone tournament. I would love to see something like that and taking it taking this uh, as an idea like off the NBA like all-star game and celebrity game it would be so cool to have like a celebrity like COD match where like one pro is the captain or something like that and they go pick out um, celebrities or different team members and they can do like uh, they can do multiplayer they could do uh, war zone matches they could do all celebrities and content creators like they could do uh, if your match consisted of one CDL pro, one content creator, one celebrity, and one rookie or something like that, there's your four right there in four different tiers. And people, uh, challengers going to get exposure. You're going to get people coming in because they're like, oh, I like this celebrity or this pro athlete playing this game. I'm going to watch it. Like that would be so cool to get different faces on it and bringing in pro uh, pro athletes or someone famous. If they're going to be talking about it and bringing in people that aren't. Uh, familiar with the CDL, then they might even hop in and watch it and become a fan themselves. Like, that might be a cool way to grow it. Just getting more content out like that, like an all-star match or a draft of somehow, that would be such a sweet way to kick off, like, end of the season. Like, they just get done with champs, give them a week or two break. You don't have to practice because it's not going to be like that serious of a tournament. You're just playing to play. And that would be a good way to just keep things going uh, for more content for the viewers and stuff like that. I really wish also that they would expand the number of teams. And I'm kind of all over the place. My notes are just like, they are never in order. And I usually just like go off on a tangent and just speak freely. I never like have a plan. And, you know, so far it's worked. But I wish they would expand the number of teams, and I don't know how exactly this works on um, what they have right now with their uh, with their team numbers. But if there could be like, if they would just combine challengers and pros to have like, and that would be the way to start it out, right? You just bump up challengers into pro teams or something like that to where there is like 20, 20 something teams. Going back to our scheduling where they play a couple matches a week, maybe they play like three different teams that week. And like your win-loss records are going to be way more intriguing because one of the problems this year too is like there you can if you lose out like all your matches, there's a chance, I can't remember what the exact number is, but you're not going to play that much if you just happen to be like the worst team ever. And for the fans for that team, uh, when you don't get to watch your favorite player or your favorite team that much, like, that blows, man. Like, that sucks. So, doing the scheduling that way, and like, year-round, if you play for, like, a couple matches a week versus different teams or the same team a couple times a week... And then, and then you do your, I don't know if it'd be in person or not, but if, let's just say it is, and keep it the same, you do your in-person tournament, you know, if it goes on for nine, ten months, if you do it every other month or every two months, you could probably get like five to six majors in there and champs. Like if we could get like another tournament like at five and pushing it with six, I think the viewership would just increase a lot. Guys, I really want to know what you guys think about 
what you think about running the CDL differently would look like in your mind and what you think would work or wouldn't work and if you think it is actually going to disband the seer or go back to the CWL or whatever the case may be I'm just curious in this uh, conversation but guys that is gonna wrap it up for today if you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new but until next time guys peace out I'm going to get through.